Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Excel VBA videos, we are going to see a very important feature in Microsoft Excel which we teased in the previous video and this is known as the Insert Cells feature in Microsoft Excel. Now in the previous videos, we have already covered the Delete Cells feature of Microsoft Excel and this Insert Cells feature is exact opposite of the Delete Cells feature. We already know that it is present in the home tab in the cells group there is this insert cells feature we have got. So if we just expand it then we have got these four options in the insert cells. First it allows us to insert the cells. Then it allows us to insert rows, whole rows and then it allows us to insert whole columns. So these three options are related to the cells only. But uh, it tells us that we can either insert a single cell or a bunch of cells in the form of rows or columns. Then we have an option of insert sheet which allows us to insert a new sheet. So before uh, jumping into its visual basic code, let us first understand that what is actually its work and how it works in Microsoft Excel. So before that, let us get some data for ourselves. Suppose we have this text 011 data. The reason why we are getting this data so that uh, we can easily identify that what of the cells or where the cells have been inserted. Okay. So suppose I have my cursor over A5 and now if I click on insert cell, then what will happen? Let's see. A new cell is inserted at A5 and all the rest of the contents have been shifted towards the downside. Okay. Now what happens is, suppose uh, I want to insert a new uh, cell at A11 and I click on insert cell. Then again, all the shifting that is done is towards the downside. So that was about a single cell. When you want to insert a single cell, then if any content is available, uh, in the cell previously, it will shift towards the downside and at that particular address, a new cell is inserted. Okay. Now what happens if you want to insert a whole new row? So suppose I want to insert a new row at A2. So I go to this option, I expand it and I go to this insert sheet rows. When I click on that, you can see at A2 and B2, uh, the cells have been turned blank and all the previous data has been shifted towards the downside means the cursor where I had was at A2. So at A2, a new row of cells is being inserted. Okay. Now what happens is if I want to insert a brand new column, then what happens? Suppose at the A column only, I want to insert a new column or uh, let's uh, take B uh, as an example this time. So I go to the insert tab and I select insert sheet columns. When I click on that, all the contents that were previously in the cell or in the column B have now been shifted to the column C and now the column B has brand new uh, cells, which is empty. That means wherever your cursor is, the cells would be inserted at that place and uh, whatever data was already existing in that place would be shifted either to the right side or towards the downside. Now, if you have noticed one thing, this shifting of the cells is completely opposite to that we uh, encountered in the case of delete cells. When we deleted the cells in a row wise fashion, the data used to shift upwards. And when we deleted them in a column wise fashion, the data used to shift towards the left side. So from here, we can uh, make out that yes, insert cells feature is complete opposite of the delete cells feature. So that was about cells. Uh, how can we insert the cells? Now we have another thing. How about we insert a sheet? So right now I have sheet number 13 uh, that I'm currently working on. If I try to insert a sheet, so I go here and I click on this insert sheet option. So you can see a new sheet by the name of sheet nine is inserted over here where sheet 13 was previously present and the sheet 13 has been shifted towards the right side. Similarly, uh, currently I'm on sheet nine. If I just go and insert a new sheet, then what happens is sheet nine shifts towards the right and a new sheet with the name of sheet 10 is uh, inserted at its place. So that's how it works. Whenever you uh, want to insert anything, then the shifting is done at the right side or at the uh, lower side or at the downside. Okay. So these are the two important things that you must keep in mind. So that was about how can we use the insert cells feature using Microsoft Excel. 
uh, now let us see uh, what is the VB code that we need to write so first of all let us open our VB editor and the shortcut for the same is alt f11 when you do that your VB editor would be open so let's just arrange it like this perfect now what we are going to do for this purpose is create a new macro and to create a new macro the first thing is go to the insert tab and insert a new module since this is insert cells so let's just name it as insert cells this is the name of the module you can name it anything once it's open in the code pane let's create a sub procedure with any name that you want and make sure that this name is going to be the name of your macro so it must be meaningful okay so yes i have created a procedure and now it's time for me to write the visual basic code okay so but before that let's just uh change this data into something meaningful again text 011 text 021 and text 031 so let's extend it up to 10 let's extend it up to 10 actually and let's extend it up to 10 okay yes now let's see what happens let's uh, just take up a cell first of all about a single cell so we first need to reference to that cell and how can we refer to that cell by using the range function that's the simplest way why we are using that because we get the help in the range function now within double quotes you gotta write the name of the cell so i want to insert a cell at b5 this uh, here actually in the range function you need to provide the location where you want to insert a cell i want to insert a cell at the location b5 so let's just press b5 close the double quotes close the parenthesis put a dot and as soon as you put a dot uh, you gotta search for a thing called insert uh, or a method called insert uh, it works like this that's it for inserting a single cell if you just click on run then you can see that at b5 a new cell has been inserted and all the contents have been shifted towards the downside okay so that's how you can insert a single cell if you just um, try to run it multiple times then as many times as you run it a new cell would be inserted and the previous cell would be shifted towards the downside so that's how this insert function works that's about a single cell if you just provide a range over it suppose uh, b5 till um, c5 you want to insert cells or from a5 till b5 you want to insert some cells you click on run then what happens is these three cells have been inserted newly and all the rest of the cells have been let's just delete these cells okay or uh, let's just delete these cells by shifting them towards the up okay so these three cells have been inserted if you just run it again then you can see these three cells have been uh, added newly and the rest of the cells have been shifted towards the downside okay so that was about range inserting suppose you want to insert a new row then what you can do is uh, suppose you want to insert a new row at a3 okay so you just provide a starting point put a dot then search for entire row this is the option you got to search for entire row again put a dot and then search for the function insert now when you run it let's see what happens an entire new row is inserted over here okay and all the cells have been shifted towards the downside that's already we have known okay now what happens if you want to insert an entire new column so i want to insert a new column where this a is residing so, uh, let's see that range let's provide anything that you want suppose if you provide a8 say let's provide a8 dot entire column dot insert and when you run it over here okay just a second yes insert cell you can just select the macro from here and you can click on run when you click on that you can see a new entire column is present at a and all the uh, contents have been shifted towards the right side suppose instead of a8 you provide it with say d8 now in d8 the columns would be inserted if you just click on run 
then yes only here the columns have been inserted and only this text is shifted towards the right 